First Class V here, back with another GCSS Army Help video. And today we're going to start our video series of the Access Administrator. Uh, so today we're going to actually learn how to uh, generate the structure position report through the uh, workbench ZAMW. And without further ado, let's jump into GRME here. All right, so like I said, the purpose of this report, okay, this helps identify positions of personnel by user roles, and um, you're able to view where everybody is placed inside your uh, UIC. Um, some of the things you may need this for um, display existing personnel. If you're trying to look at substitution assignments for a unit or something like that, you're able to pull it from here and see who's eligible or who can be pulled and so forth. All right. So to do this, you're going to down here to reporting where it says positions and users. So we're going to do several video series on all three of these, but today we're just going to be focused on the structure position report. Um, by the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Leave the comments down below. If you have ideas for new videos, please let me know. So like I said, um, this video really is going to show you how to generate and interpret uh, the uh, structure position report and teach you what all the columns mean and so forth, all right? So you can prepare to create a, a personal substitution by finding answers to questions, all right? So um, let's say you, what is the personnel number of a person that needs to be considered for a substitute? You can pull it from here. Uh, what is the eight digit number of the position that you need to possibly do a substitution for? You can do that here as well. You can also you do this when you actually maintain the, the positions and actually give personnel uh, access to GCSSS Army. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. So like I said, you're, what you can do is you're going to click the structure position report. Now down here for force element. Now you can do it in multiple ways. Like you, if you know your UIC, you can type in your UIC or you can go right here and you go to search term and you can actually search your UIC from there. So it's pretty easy. All right, so put in our UIC here and then we are going to execute. So once the screen pulls up, I always select the top one. This is going to give you all the heritage all the way down. So here you are. Here's your structure position data. OK, so um, please keep in mind. That this here is everyone that's in your UIC. This is driven by your email PO um, and your 162. So with that said, keep in mind that everybody that's not assigned a GRME position will always default to a military position. All right. So for this video, let's just go ahead and get started and talk about the uh, the columns here. OK, so your FEID. OK, so this is a, an eight digit number assigned to each uh, force element. OK, so when we when your unit was created in GRME, your FE was created. So that's what that will be. So your FE abbreviation, OK, so this is at the company level and above. This is the unit six digit UIC and a subordinate to the UIC. OK, so it's going to tell you, you know, what unit. It is. Same thing here, full description, the FE text is going to give you the name of your unit. So that's pretty self explanatory. So when you look at this column, it's position ID, OK? So this is the eight digit number assigned to each position at the time it was created in GRME. So every position in your unit has a position ID or role number, OK? So keep that in mind. So when we talk about position abbreviation, this is the second, third, fourth, and fifth digit of your UIC, followed by either the EMTO or TDA line number authorizes that position. Or by default, like I said, all military positions will default to 9999900001. All right, so keep that in mind. So position description, like I said, this is just the uh, the full text of what that position is, whether it be contract or military position, um, business display, master driver, plant 2000, whatever it may be. And then of course, down at the bottom here, you'll have all your supply roles and PBO roles. All right. So if you look here, sub resign, OK? This is substitution relationship type. And A indicates that position has an assigned substitution. So you look at the property book, there's a substitution for this. Okay, just keep that in mind. 
when you look at the substitution relate, this is the number 210. Um, if you do see a number 210 there, that represents the relationship that is connected to the position to the uh, assigned substitution. And then of course you got your personnel number, which uh, the, that's the ID number that's unique to anyone that's identified for a GCSS Army account. If you have new personnel coming in the military that do not have a ID number, then I'm well, I am going to do a separate video series on how to actually do the self enrollment to actually get them in G Army so you're able to actually onboard them. And then of course the last name, first name, that's pretty self explanatory. All right, the uh, the user ID. So this is your ID, your your DOD number. All right, so keep that in mind. And of course, you got your email. Let me scroll over a little more. We're gonna go into roles. Okay, so when we talk about the role, this displays the composition security role assigned to the position where the position holder is expected to be in a GCS Army user. Okay, so the position holder or substitute inherits this role. So Plant 2000, this is the role, all right? Related FE uh, ID, like I said, this displays the eight digit FE number corresponding to the UIC that the position hold or is allowed access to, okay? Um, also referred to the position's administrative FEs. Uh, related uh, FE abbreviation, like I said, um, this just displays the six digit UIC that corresponds to the related FE or your force element. All right. It's pretty self explanatory. So once you're in here, if you click the subtree here, right? So this screen will pop up right here. This is your subtree. So once you do this, okay, so positions represent actual personnel authorizations, okay? So positions are always attached to the FE, either vacant or held by a person. Uh, in GCSS Army, uh, users' roles are typically assigned to and remain with position, not the holders. So when a, when a person is assigned to hold a position, that person inherits that position role or until he or she is transferred uh, or outboarded from GCSS Army, okay? So if you look at, a, if you see a person, you see the person here, that means somebody is assigned this role, all right? So that's a symbol for a position. So there's a position for that, all right? So if you go to click expand, for example, we will click to expand um, maintenance access admin, all right? So when you click expand, it's gonna give you a bunch of stuff here, all right? So if you look, you see like this little block, right? That's a symbol for administrative force element or uh, O, all right? If you look for, if there you see a pie chart like this, the multicolor pie chart, that's a symbol for a security role, all right? So uh, usually it's, it's coded by AG. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, if, uh, if you look, here is your access administrative, personnel and then you look at the personnel assigned actually to that position and these are going to be the personnel numbers right here okay so that's your g army personnel number so keep that in mind like i said if, if you see these people here it means there's there's someone in that role all right so what else can we look at it here? So depending on the responsibilities of the position, um, it's sometimes necessary to assign multiple administrative FEs. OK, so you can have multiple people in roles as long as it doesn't break, uh, break the relationship or the, uh, the the max allowed. OK, so there is ways to go around that. I'm going to show you in uh, other videos actually how to do that. But it's pretty simple. So if you look at the sub the subtree here, uh, let me look at all right computer's a little slow right now i'm not sure why so like i said you can actually expand all of these if there's a person in 
that right there. So multi-SAM, support maintenance. So these are all of the units under this role. Okay, so equipment record parts. So like I'm an HAC battalion, you're gonna have all of your uh, follow-on UICs right here. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So like I said, um, yeah. This is pretty easy to pull. It's pretty, pretty easy to print too, right? So you can actually look at some of these. Um, let me just try to find one for you. So if you look, see how this is vacant, okay? So there's no one in that role. So you can actually look at substitution candidates and see who you would possibly need to move in that role. Um, just keep in mind, you know, that stuff is tracked for substitutions and you should be going through your commander. And uh, I am going to do a video series on the actual um, refirm and how to upload the 2875 SARS, the Swiss file, the assumption and commands, um, the G track search, all that stuff should be on file before they actually get access to GCSS Army. All right, so keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so this is pretty self explanatory. And then if you do want to print it, you're just going to hit print. Boom. Print. Man, the computer is slow. So it'll print, you can actually print it in PDF and actually make it a little bit easier for you, right? So like I said, it's not that hard. Um, you're able to get in here and look who's in which position, get the all the information you need in case you do have to uh, onboard a cert, uh, personnel for a certain position, or if you're trying to substitute or remove, you can do that right from here, right? So just keep that in mind. Um, like I said, I hope this video was helpful. Um, this is just, this stuff is boring right here. I'm gonna be honest with you, um, but it's important you actually know how to get in here and actually look at who's in which position and what role, right? So this is our first video of this series. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go ordinance. Thank you.